Uh, what, what exactly are you trying to, uh, do with this letter here? Uh, an exchange, and I wanted to try out an exchange note for this higher up pointing at Eta for the three priestesses. And I can imitate the signature of Scouting the Greenbeard here. So I was hoping the language was coherent enough for them to understand it. Um, Maybe no, it... that is not coherent enough. I, I... I look down. Oh. There's an exchange right here, but you're also talking about rocks and potatoes and um, something over here about red shinies. Uh, yeah. Well, I know I have 200 gold on me. I'll throw that in. Are you telling me my handwriting is that bad? I look down at it. <laughs> you just have this well, sad look. <laughs> well, you're just pulling, you know, letters and words out of nowhere. It's not my fault I didn't learn the language. Who teaches Goblin? Maybe the human Not can many. help write the note? Yeah, I, I can write it for you. What do you uh, want it to say? Uh, on behalf of Scouting Me Green Bad, we, we agreed to trade... What's a very important sounding name to a goblin, I want? <laughs> I was about to say, that sounds a little too smart. Yeah. Well, they you do use formal words like that, but most of the common ones don't. So... Do you think it'll go over the goblins' heads if we show it to them? Uh, most goblins, yeah. Um, if this Scotty McGreenbeard read it, they probably would get it. Okay. How about them just simply exchanging this one for that one? And a lesser I... amount of gold? <laughs> yeah. I can even bring, maybe we've got plenty of bread left over, we can even bring offerings of food. That's true. The feed, the keep. We do have a horse and carriage. We look at Kilza. Do we have a horse and carriage? We should. Uh, we'll, where do we leave it? Um, It's at my house. Oh, yeah, it's I'm right. sure mom took good care of the horse. Oh yeah, definitely. The horse is just horse is fat. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure if it, if she burnt any bread on accident, her dad screwed up anything. She fed it to the horse. It's probably happy and doesn't want to leave. Right, we're doing this. We'll have the kills over there. So, you think you can write that note for us? Uh, yeah. Just a second here. It's, I just hope we don't run into him. Starts scribbling on the piece of paper. How do you hmm. write so good? The goblins really aren't good with numbers, though, so we could, like, just throw just something that looks bountiful and they maybe One accept it. Coin. One blue painted coin and see that this is equal to more than what they're saying? Well, they probably know the difference between a coin and not a coin. They're not that silly, but, no. you know, they just kind of hoard things, so. That is true. Yeah. You know anything about this picture of a sword and goblin head thing? Not sure, unless that's, like, a banner that they would fly. You know, maybe, uh, like, goblins kind of, like, have families and armies and stuff. That might be something representative of who they are or where they're from. I'll see if I can imitate that onto the page after you're done writing that then. Just mm -hmm. to see if you can make it a bit more believable. Hmm. And he starts scribbling something that looks somewhat legible but a little bit not and kind of all over the place. Marlo, do you still have that religious symbol? I take it out. I take out the other one. I do. Which one? Um, could we, like... <gasps> disguise it in gold and make it out to be like this very important item worth much money a relic yeah i mean i could glue the two of them together somehow like weld it to something and we can make him this really fancy looking cross i wonder if we could i don't know really if goblins know much of religion but it looks kind of important, and I don't think they'd know too much difference, as long as we can make it look fancy. I just realized the simpler Tritherian looks like a fidget spinner. 
Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> the goblins. All the goblins. Yeah. <laughs> Turn oh, it into a nice. fidget spinner. <laughs> oh, God. See if they get entertained and distracted with it. You can. Uh... Anything to help us get in and get out as soon as possible. Fidget spinner of distraction. <laughs> okay, so I think we can make this look moderately better than how it looks now. Okay. So, um, what, what more do you need? A million uh, dollars! with you until the end of this job, because... You know, there's no way he's gonna take us back before we have any answers. Oh no, we'll make sure you get your answers. Oh, As we'll I kind sure of glance it. at Marlo. We'll, we'll catch make... whoever did this. <laughs> Marlo, who <laughs> <you> did it? <laughs> he puts his hand in his chest and, re- and he kind of like goes somber. Trust me. <laughs> your law speaks deeply to my heart. We will find that man who, or thing that killed your friend and avenge him. I swear on my beak, wherever it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't so, worry, I didn't really know Donovan too well, so, you know. Ah, oh, Donovan the jerk. <laughs> Alright, so we're kind of going with that we'll try to exchange me as part of importance. And sneak Silver and Kilza in along with you. And then we'll check, make sure, and then fight our way out, and you guys kind of... Well, that will leave Belmach... Well, Belmach and the humans up front, right? Um, yeah, I will... I think I might accompany them, unless I can get myself inside as well. Because I want to hear this guy's voice. Well, we want enough people outside and not as many, because we don't want people bumping into goblins and drawing suspicion. With Pass Without Trace, I can disguise more than just one person. Okay. Yeah, just a question. You and your companions. Um, we're not worried about disguising me. What are we going to disguise as a bird, then? Oh, it's not a disguise. It's more of your presence is going to be gone. Well, it's still a disguising. That's actually pretty good. I can work with that. Up to 30 feet. I'll get in the same way that you get in then, and assist from the inside. And if human, if you want, if you really time- want, hmm? how many times can Silver cast that? Because maybe uh, we can pass I- cast it on the halflings and help them get out I a little can only easier. I use it two times because my key it takes up four key points. But unless I eat a stun tubing, I can only cast it eight times. So you have extra senso beans, which I don't. I haven't have. gotten any any. But you haven't sense. eaten them all either. Oh no, I only have three left. Yeah, so that's plenty. Yeah. So right. maybe uh, Kilsner and Silver. I don't want to leave Belmock out. I kind of want to. I really do want to get that guy's voice down and memorize it. If that might help us out. But if I need to do a Belmuck, I'll be all there with him, too. Because I'm worried that we might try to hand him a note from himself. All this standing around where there's justice to be. (laughs) Don't you mean drinks? He's an imposter. Kill him! (laughs) He's a spy! Can I just look at him and just say, you know, bread technically is alcohol in another form, right? You want to have bread? Here's... Yeast and wheat and, <laughs> and barley. Just, mm, not fermented. <laughs> Just wait a while. So we have a plan for the party. I think we kind of got a plan. I only okay. have two spell slots, don't I? Yes. Damn. I know you still also have Ruby. Does he need to cast it on Ruby too? Or can Ruby, like, hide... Like, She's red... a glowing piece of with magic. invisibility? Yeah, would that count with him? No, it wouldn't. Maybe she can stay outside with Belmont. Or we could leave her with his mom. <laughs> she could be using her as an oven. Yeah, well, quite literally. You just shove her on the wall and melt through the wall. <laughs> maybe, maybe Ruby's homesick. I need some hot air. I need a hot area to be in. Who knows? Maybe she'll like 
I, well, I think that would be good, though, to bring her in, because if they're trapped inside bars, she can melt them. Just by sheer existence, of yeah. course. Well, well, also, like... If she's close I won't be very them. helpful in battle, then, because that, that removes my spells. Yeah. But if she's close yeah. enough to me, she's part of my companions. Yeah, but... We have a hard hitter, Tabaxi, over there. I'm pretty sure you should protect you. I do have the braces of the waist. Uh, I mean, if I stay back behind you guys, I could just use ranged spells and I'll be fine. Yeah, that'd be fine. But, good. like, in melee, I won't be much help. Well, then maybe you won't get eaten this <laughs> Oh, joy. <laughs> A magical crocodile will spawn and he will sacrifice his arm for us. More land sharks! <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Sister was apparently almost eaten by a land shark. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> it was terrifying. Awesome. Awesome. A land shark. I wonder if that skull's still there for him. As soon as you see that Molotov, see you. Yes. Might. Oh, I thought you were gonna break down onto your knees, hoping to God it was. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we could use that in some way. That's a long trip out to drag a giant head back. And then we have to still go down to the coast. I don't think it'll still fit in a cart. Anyway. But yeah, um, so who who's going in, I guess we need to figure out. Obviously, it's you. Yeah. And then it's a toss-up between and the kills all myself, so... Yeah, Vincent and Fractal, uh, do you do good on uh, range or melee? Or like up close combat? Oh, uh, we're up close, uh, medics. Oh! Medic. Medics! Cool! <laughs> Kilsner can get eaten and we'll be okay. <laughs> Keep our tank <laughs> Combat mage is good. Wait, isn't Killer still uh, Utah? Or did that wear off? Well, they had, they had a whole night of rest. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'm assuming everybody's at 100%. Well, he can take that form whenever he wants, so... Alright, so I'm gonna sit here and get a drink, and until you guys are ready to go, let me know. Of the day, man. It's hmm. not like my sister stuck in a keep. I. <laughs> no, no, she, she's probably underground, mining away. Well, I'm assuming that's kind of what they use them for—is labor. I don't even know my family. Okay, we still love you. I just kind of pat his leg. My family's corpses right now. Well, we're trying to prevent my family from being corpses. Oh, mother, why did you leave me? <laughs> we should make some alive. You struck a huge deal with Marlo. <laughs> you struck a huge deal with me. Alright, so... Kills, are you going in then? Uh... Yeah, I guess so. I'll take a review with me. Okay, then I'm gonna stay with um with the combat medics and our tank. I'll be the hands to the top. Okay. So <laughs> kills are uh silver and me are sneak well, I'm walking in and you guys are sneaking in after. Yeah. Okay. Uh and I guess Ooh. we'll just fight our way out and see how the plan goes. We'll try and be there like a couple of people. Now we just need to get a box together, maybe throw some rocks in underneath it, at the bottom, make a fake bottom. I'll Pretty throw good. my gold in and some maybe valuable things or things that look valuable. Uh, Jessville says we've actually got some bags together right now, and uh, since you guys have been taking so long planning, we managed to line the top of it with a couple of gold coin, not a whole lot. Wow, oh, you guys are really fast. Like that. Well, we are taking forever. <laughs> we are what? trying to make sure everyone stays a lot. Do you need them 